Obviously, a lot of the books that are in the movies look like old children's books. So did you buy a bunch of old children's books? Yes, and really, yeah. Yeah. How to yeah. approach this? And even when it comes to things like, um, you know, how, how a book is bound, you know, we'll sort of see what it, what happens to it when it, you know, we're having to create... Is that when um, yours are inspired? Inspired. That's okay. inspired, but, um, <coughs> you know, if we, when we were doing a potion book or the, the um, Beagle of Bard, and you're having to tell the viewer very quickly that, you know, this is a valuable book and it's an ancient book and it's been moved around. Let's say those are the three criteria. So it's trying to create that, that history in a in five minutes. You know, mm -hmm. And you're looking at the of the films so we have a very good relationship with the printer and we that will find it. So they, you have to be they, able to they really it. understand us exactly how we yeah. watch and it's always a good so sometimes the printer would go, I'm really sorry, it's like the registration's a bit off, and then I'd keep it like that. Well, I didn't have it all! Oh, that's so funny, I must have like, yeah, yeah, don't make me do it! Yeah, but often it will be, I mean, we try and, we, as I've well said, we buy books, but then if you find, um, old like things like that. Oh, that, that's then, beautiful. Um, you know, this must have been very inspiring. Yeah, that was, a, and what is that? That's that was a Japanese um, uh, family seals, that was a gift from... Um, a very treasured assistant. Yeah. Another graphic uh, Yeah. So, oh, um, but but yeah, down to oh. every, you know, down to the actual, you know, you this these tell stories, these things, they tell you about. That is the thing a, that, that we need to tell. No? Yeah. Everything we do needs to tell a story, so we think everything makes sense. Everything so is, yeah. Well, I. I do you mean if all of your your products, everything that you ever create, has a story to tell? Or no, do you know no, 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 have a responsibility. No, it's quite simple. We just okay. have a responsibility to tell the, the story, story. In, or the, that you know how that prop will help will help tell the story. Oh, yes. I see what you're yes. saying. So it's it's to move the story yes. forward, yes. Yes. and so it's a matter of how what you're creating. When well, with the you know the potion books in the about six six. When Harry and, and Ron, Ron they are fight. fighting over yeah, who's yeah. going to get the rubbish old one, mm -hmm. and you, you know, like this at school, they're yeah. all on the shelf, and you're like, I'm not having that. Chatter. Right, right, yeah. Well, we had like mm -hmm. two seconds on screen to say to to show that, mm -hmm. so we did a, a, the same book, same title, same textbook, with with two versions. So we had like volume four, and then the updated volume five, and of course Harry ends up with the old one. The real. Real. The, yeah. yeah, the crapping on butt, yeah. it, you know, there. So, so, so we have lots of, you know, knowledge about that moment, but we've only got very short time to sort of to show that. So that would be how you age it, what materials you use, what fonts you use, because one might be from the 70s and the other one might be from the 30s. Or yes. you know, so, um, so all those things will feed into the kind of decisions that you make ultimately with the, your with, with your design. And, and when you see, that makes it interesting. Mm -hmm. When you see this, you believe that it's old. So yeah. we need to make sure that's well that the things we do is, has already been... Has already been yeah. Basically, that yeah, they have been that yeah. they had a story. I think our experience of that, because we've just learned that and felt that by, on Harry Potter, um, and on a couple of other films as well, but I think we've sort of brought that experience to what we're doing on Whoop because we, in each of the images, we sort of try and the story. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and even if it's just a really simple one, just you know that that you but can kind of create some sort of emotional reaction in the viewer. The images are not just you know. placed there; they are there because this. So I'm going to talk. I'm going to explain a little bit about what that is because um, this is the end of the era and the Harry Potter stories have been told through movies and you guys have a gazillion of things you're doing yes. but one of the things you're doing is called Whoop yes. and it's collective, uh, collective, collective nouns um, of so an example that I always use is a kaleidoscope of butterflies and um, it's oh we have some of them yeah and, and so you can actually off. get some um, you have limited editions that you're actually selling. You sell them through galleries, and you also sell them on your site. Mm -hmm. And you have different sizes. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and you're just it's ongoing. So first you have the the animals, and that's all done. Yeah. Oh, there's that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is you made a book. Yeah. That's it's coming out in September. September. Oh, yeah, October. Oh, okay. So you just, so this is a book that's being published and showing, and it's through Whoop or through Whoop. Yeah. Oh, great. Well, that's helpful. That'll be good. Yeah, that's the first of 
four. But, but when we were creating the, the, the art, we kind of thought, oh, this one will be the big. The one that everybody yeah, wants. That one is amazing. No, it's really not like that. Everyone is different. You have two other people that do a little bit of the creative um, input, and so it's a different partnership, but also, um, so Mina Lima is one group, and that's you guys, yes. and you have assistants, and you do stuff on um, film yes. for that, yes. and yes. illustration and books. Yes. And then outside of that, you have Whoop, yes. and Whoop is the collective nouns. Yes. And so you're doing now this project with these other people, and it's got all these, right now you've got the animals. Now, what was the first one you did? I did the parrot. Pandemonium of Parrots. How did it come about? No, it was no. really dynamic. I mean, it, it, it was, I know it sounds romantic, but it was kind of a conversation over dinner with some friends. No, and so we are yeah, where it comes and, out. Um, these friends were crazy about collective nouns. They wanted to do something with it, but they weren't quite sure what. And uh -huh. we wanted to do a project that was our Probably own, different. Yeah. Right. That, that, that was ours and that we didn't, um, you know, from and nobody ownership. says anything, it's just you. Yeah, 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 not, yeah. That, yeah. And, and that it's almost, you know, you know your baby that, that, uh -huh, uh -huh. that you, see, you see grow. And um, so the four of us sort of came together and we all took equal risk and decided to just go for it. Um, and we had a small business plan about how to do it. So um, starting with the limited edition prints and then seeing where it would go, we're now actually part of the book. Oh. And the book is coming out. And um, Chronicle yeah. Books, so they do yes. well, and it's, yeah. in, it's in the U.S. Yeah. Excellent. Now you know, the U.S. really loves their front covers. Um, so it's coming out when? In October. 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 And then flashcards in February. Oh, February. flashcards! And then a giant book sometime next year with 2,000 collective terms listed. Oh, my goodness. And just some new illustrations oh, with not just animals, great. but also with um, yeah, you're doing you know, sports. sports. What else are you doing? Professions. Nationalities. Yeah. Um, or not, okay. And Chris, I mean Christmas will be this Christmas. Yeah, you're gonna do Christmas yeah. one. Well, few. Yeah. Uh huh. And um, how do you create these? Yeah, all digital. But it's, it's all digital. Oh, it's, it's all, all digital. Very modern, yes. yeah. Oh, okay. So you did you you created it digitally. So you have a tablet. Yeah. That's yes. how you're drawing. Yes. Have you always done that, or did you yeah. just start out by? Because you're pretty young, so you started out. Oh, when I started. You know, oh, you know. <laughs> Computer, I'm cut and paste. Harry Potter one. Harry Potter one, two. Floppy disks. Uh, floppy. One floppy disks. Pretty much. One, pretty much one portable. You know, like, I mean, a laptop that got sort of passed around. Scissors. Glue. You know. Um, that's yeah, photocopier. Well, that's back then. Graphic yeah. cards. It's always been like that. Like, it, but that was very recently. You know, that was the same that was that we've just been talking about. You know. Uh -huh. Yeah, but that's to show us what the computer years. is just a tool. It's not. Yeah. You need. We, no, you need to be talented, and yeah. you know, Stuart Craig's the first person to say that. Is is you can't. The computer will not make it pretty. No. no. You have to be the artist, yeah. and it's exactly the same whether it's inside a computer or not. It, it still requires a hand. Yeah. yeah. And a heart and a brain. You know. And the good yeah. thing in, in the hairbrush is that we really try hard. No, no, not hard, but we really try to kind of balance the computer. Yeah, and it's uh, we actually do kind of worship. I'm constantly kind of amazed what Photoshop can do, and mm -hmm. it's just you know I do really sort of treasure what's possible. But um, as you said, we sort of weigh it up, and, and this I think is a quite a nice um, meeting point of trying to hold on to the, the the aesthetic that we like from the past, which is the sort of fifties. Uh, 40s, 50s, mid-century yeah, um, aesthetic, mm -hmm. and then using what technology can offer us. For example, the printer that we've invested in is fantastic. I mean, it, it has. Well, it's, it's printed like the beautiful art. So but you print your own now. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah it's okay. no printer to order. Oh good. So, but the quality of the the print is just it's it's compared to what you've got ten years ago. Oh I know. So, so a lot of that we we had a little you know we've now created a kind of palette that we. Yeah. Refer to, to keep and then the aesthetic yeah, that yeah. you guys were yeah. now when you're doing this together how does how does the work and the creativity split up how do you like we just sort of go off with one and right sometimes it's really like okay you have five and I have five and Lauren has five and we just have and then occasionally yeah. I just can't go any further with this can yeah. you can you, can you and then, yeah. then it shifts yeah. the same design will be handed 
Which is oh. like, like the scene of the game where you do the head and then fold the paper down and move right. it around. Oh, yeah. And do the body and then fold Yeah, yeah. It. So, no, and then, then we, so in the end, we all but do it's all collectively everyone and respectable. Because kind of, yeah. for us, and being in this kind of environment, you just lean over the I'm stuck with this font. You know, so you all end up chipping in. But, but there's still... But it was funny because last year when we, before we start selling book, we had like one month and a half to do two alphabets. So it was like 52 designs uh, like in 40 days. Uh -huh. So that was a challenge, but it was good. Yeah, it was good. And it worked really good on the fashion. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. Well, that's not the issue, is it? No, yeah. not for graphic artists. No. No. Or for any. Any right. artist, yeah. yeah. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Can't say that's the case for some of the artists I know. Oh, they're organized. Uh, mm -hmm. No, they're not organized, <laughs> but the working under pressure makes it worse. Oh, so, um, what other movies have you been working on? We oh. just did now a film with Stephanie and Stuart oh. called Gambit. Oh yes, that's the thing he was yes, in, yes. in, I think, Las Vegas for. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you did Gambit. Cool. What did you do for it? Well, we've, we've only done a few things. Okay. I mean, I think we, we weren't there as permanent stuff. We just but still, what did you do? Um, the book covers, magazine covers. All Marvel and Marvel stuff that we're <laughs> really not, not, okay. it's not our thing, but it was. But it's really it's funny as well to see Stuart and Stephanie. And you said, yeah. yeah. Marvel films. Alright, so you did Gambit, and what else are you doing? Then there's a small independent film called... Um, Fantastic, Fantastic Fear of Everything. Fantastic Fear of Everything. Um, okay. They and made in the UK. And books. books. And it's Simon but Pegg? With Simon Pegg. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, it's with Simon Pegg. And uh, we... Mara just checked. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and we did... Uh, but since we moved here, we did a couple of things, little things for other things. Like we did like a huge table with a map printed for Captain America. Oh, cool! We had an experience yeah. with, uh, with a good friend of ours that worked for Harry Potter. She, she was here visiting London and uh, she saw the late poems, one we had. So what? We had a, a, a print. For the late, late bars. Oh, lady bars. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know yeah, that. We call lady bars here. Oh, okay. So it's a loveness. No, I know it. I've seen them. The loveness of lady bars. Yeah. And she just fell in love. She thought I she had to get off the wall and said, "I'm not taking this." Oh, that's so sweet. She said, "I was waiting." So it's that's it sweet. Yeah. Yeah. When people react that way, you are it's so beautiful. Yeah, it's and actually that's been interesting as well for me because um, for film work, it is very disposable really because you do something A you don't know if it's gonna be on screen or yes. B it might have a tiny presence and and you don't own it. And no, it's it's gone. Gone. I mean it's no, no, no. nonetheless it, it it's it's um, not something that's a connection between you people and people aren't living and with it. Yeah. Exactly. They are playing with it and enjoy right. it. And so it was a very new event to sort of, I mean you don't have to put this in but No, yeah. of course but, I'm putting it in. But the I people love the want, connection you know, between we, you and the person that puts it on their wall. You know, of course. Yeah. And to have to know that kind of, you know, there's fifteen hundred prints since November that have yes. left our our gallery and because people want and to speak with them. And and, and the most amazing thing is just the comments that people send, the um, feedback and they said, Oh it's Loving and beautiful, we change my house and this place. We're going to talk about this because I don't know if you guys, okay, if you don't have it, you're silly because it's so cool. And and as I was saying a little earlier, um, it's got not just the, I mean, you designed the whole book. Yes. And um, what I love about it is it's, it's really about, I mean, it's called Harry Potter Film Wizardry. And it's basically, you know, it is from the creative team behind the celebrated movie series. But it, it's it's also, it is the creative team because it talks about David Heyman and Stuart Craig and Andrew Williamson. And I think there's some Jenny Tommy stuff in yes. here, isn't yeah. there? The costume designer. Like David Heyman sat on the cast of film and it, the Harry Potter crew become kind of this huge family. Yeah. After all these years together, then. Uh -huh. And it's really true. Was it sad the last day? Well, there wasn't an official last yeah, day. Yeah, they it? started to cull. Yeah. You know, people were yeah, just you know done with emails. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. not yeah. like everyone left at the same time. Uh -huh. So, but it was funny to see everyone after one year we left the film on the classic film Sunday, and some people haven't seen the one, but some people have. And everyone kind of felt like really emotional. Because, oh, this is the last. That's it. Yeah. So everyone kind but of. But you're all cried. friends now. Yeah. 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 Some, some Especially that I came from Brazil, so 
and I went straight to work then. So my good friend and other people I met that. Uh, and and also yeah. all the yeah. actors, uh, I mean, did you get to know all of them? No, 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 no. Yeah. 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 Y